Welcome back to The Charismatic Voice. Many of you have been recommending Seven Dust, specifically vocalist LeJohn Witherspoon. And The Washington Post describes him as more flexible than most heavy rock vocalists, capable of lifting as convincingly as he growls. I'm really excited to hear that kind of versatility, so I'm going to check out Seven Dust for the first time right now. Let's get to it. here that's really cool. I and I have to say the music video setting is really awesome especially I love the the lights and the way that you have a really nice circular setting here and a lot of the graphics that we're seeing um, feel very new age matrixy um, electronic it's very a very very cool setting. His voice has a certain a uh, haziness in it that I like. I really like. It's got uh, it's got the clarity on it, so it's not just haze. It has a balance there, um, but it has a depth in it as well. And I'm really curious if that's him that's also doing some of those distorted vocals in the background. The mix of those distorted vocals is fascinating. I'm wondering if they're putting extra effects on it too. It's really cool. I need to go back to the beginning though um, to try and catch some of these great moments and. Let's talk a lot more about them. Oh. I love this build at the beginning. Okay, I just, I really, really love it. And you feel the build, um, but then you think, oh, it's just gonna have like a big normal beat when it comes in. Instead you have, a very complex beat, and I think that's it's just fascinating. Immediately grabs me. Yeah, that rise is good. Oh, oh man, his hair is awesome. Oh, okay, what is the sound at the beginning? Oh, I'm so curious. Initially, when he first starts singing, there's a sound. It sounds almost like he's breathing in through his teeth. That kind of sound. But then there's, uh, it almost sounds like he's creaking into the vocal right afterwards. I'm not sure. Got a growling to it. Mm. Like, that is this voice in the back that's going stranger, stranger. It's freaky. It's freaky. Is that him? Is he making that like on half of a chord? I'm not sure, but that's a really cool sound. It's amazing to have that sort of thin, creepy. Um, it almost feels like it's bodiless kind of distortion, um, but then have that with the, his deeper sounding voice. Oh, we're back one more time. Whoa, right? <laughs> That's such a cool effect. Whoa, 
the <laughs> I love the way the growls and clean singing are intermixed in this. It's really, really good. Uh, I also find it fascinating how the music, they're keeping it really fresh by having lots of beats in a row and then a sudden drop of beats. So every time those beats come back and pound relentlessly, you suddenly, you'll have this moment where your ears clear and then you appreciate them anew again. I This is a really cool, I think this is a chorus? Right here. I never knew what to need it. I just know. <laughs> whoa whoa yeah that combination of vocals is is nuts it's really good the uh, that stop and go of the beats i was talking about that's also being replicated in the guitars and bass if it's very effective as a composition element um i feel like my attention is really in and present with the song when those kinds of things are happening they grab me here and here and here and here okay let's keep going I'm just a passenger you never seen before it's not a shell that's Cool. Um, I'm just saying, I really like the power uh, in his voice. He, he has, um, it's a very manly sound. It has, um, again, that depth, but it's got so much drive through it. I think a lot of times in metal, people end up looking for what what's the highest voice they can find. And that's definitely thrilling. But sometimes I just want a voice that's going to sit a little bit lower. And I think it's a, uh, it's almost a shame that we don't have more voices that can have that lower feeling. I also think like um, like a Peter Steele, like there's there are some out there, they exist, but they're harder to count off of and said we're almost always shooting for higher and higher notes. I love it when somebody like this, he does get into some higher belting things, but we're not talking like super crazy rafters, but his the meat in his voice and just the really great tone that he can have and this lower range is delightful. It's extremely satisfying to hear this kind of tone produced lower. Again, it has a, a haze to it, like just like it's like a teensy bit of a natural rasp that's in there. I really dig that tone quality and that sound. But then you've got some heft and some power and some clarity and also really great diction. Um, it's a very, very nice sound. It's not a shell that's yeah, there's like a full throatedness to the sound as well. It's not a shell that's That's one of the other band members is doing some of those uh, crazy harsh vocals in there too. The way that these are interweaving are just amazing, amazing. I think that's my favorite part of the song so far is the way they are interweaving the vocals. There's really great harmonies in here as well, different layerings that are happening. Um, and oh, I wanted to talk a little bit also about there's like some sort of soulfulness that in his is in his sound as well. Again, it's like full, it's full throated. It sounds like it's being supported by his entire body. Uh, just, it's like really, it's created really, really well. Okay, back just a little bit, we'll keep going. Mm -hmm. 
Ooh, nice tops. Whoa, whoa, I did not expect that turn. I thought we were gonna start in a different key. I thought we were gonna hear that rise go on for a lot longer. Um, that took me by surprise. I like this tom uh, interlude here and the rise is great. Just, this is surprising. <laughs> So curious how in this section you have this subdivision of one, two, one, two, three, one, two, one, two, three. They're really playing with the, just with the rhythms underneath here. I like the way the script falls on top. Whoa. <laughs> It's like, it's like they are doing very abrupt key changes. I'm not sure if, if they're just hanging out in a different area and then coming to another one and doing a full key change. It feels like it's a related key. It's so fascinating. Man, I'm just, it felt like such a, an unusual choice to drop into a lower key essentially for this instrumental interlude. And then the shift back into the chorus felt surprisingly smooth still. There's so many backing vocals that I think the band members are doing as well, adding to that vocal texture. It's, it's really cool. I think like, kudos to everybody in the band for the way that you're mixing vocal sounds together. I think it's awesome. It's just, it's really awesome. And I'm feeling impressed also by uh, just the endurance aspect of this. This is some heavy singing. Uh, and again, with that idea of full-throated, full-body support, it's really um, it's going 100% for a long time, which is really difficult to do. So we have, <laughs> they seem like they have so much energy. I just really love his hair. It's, wow, amazing. Um, I, I'm i listening to the different distorted vocals that we have in here, and we definitely have one that is way lower. It reminds me of some character in a fantasy film of some sort, but I can't put my finger on who it is. Um, and then you have this kind of upper, like, distorted again like on that almost like it's on part of a vocal fold not really maybe not even on a vocal fold it's probably using a different area of the vocal tract to create that sound because I feel like that would not feel very good if you were doing it on a vocal fold um, so it but it's it made a much thinner sound and it's hanging out and almost sounds extra distorted up in the top so with all of these different layerings it's like we've got like Lots of creepy monsters surrounding lead vocal, essentially. Go back a little bit for that again. And there's the harmony in there too. Nice. Whoa, no, that can't be the end. <gasps> it's supposed to be long. I thought I was spoiled by metal. I thought all of these songs were long, right? Okay, we're going back one more time because I was just not ready for it to end. Oh, man. 
amazing. Whoa. That went by really quickly. We didn't even get a chance to dig into the lyrics. They're about war, but it could be actual war or the daily challenges that people are facing or, you know, the struggles that they're really going through. There's so many possible interpretations. It's fascinating. Good lyrics in there too. But I was just so caught up with all of these little extra sounds and the mix and the way that they enlivened different kinds of rhythms. There's a lot of intricacy in their music and in their singing. And I really like the way that they pulled it together in a song that felt still very approachable and digestible. Definitely, it wants a lot more analysis. So thank you, everyone, for this incredible recommendation. If you'd like to hear some more analysis of some heavy rock music, check out this playlist over here. And I'll hope to see you again in another video soon.